Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Big John from Big John's Bully House. Um, wasn't gonna do an update until the shipper got here, but I figured go ahead and do an update now, man. I'll touch on uh, touch on some things I know everybody's kind of worried about the shipping and the shipper. Hey, hey, wait, that's enough. The shipping and the shipper and everything. Um, just jump right into it. <clears throat> I talked to. John's wife, that is the shipper, last night. We've been keeping updated. We've been keeping in contact with each other. With the shipping, the way that it's being done with ground is... Man, John's by himself. Um, I was just told that last night by his wife, Rhonda. I didn't know that. Um, I guess I should have probably took that into consideration, especially with everything going on. Now with the shipping, with how John's doing it, um, he started off, he left Georgia and was going to Texas. Hey, and everything. Um, so, I mean, right now he's a one man crew and as he's going and picking puppies up and picking dogs up, he's dropping dogs off. So with that being said, trust me, I know, um, it, it can get, you can get anxious. You can get aggravated at times with this but hey. i'm gonna go ahead and touch on some things with the ground shippers if it wasn't for them to be honest a lot of us wouldn't be able to send dogs to different states um they're only charging 500 dollars a puppy to literally leave their home and drive across country to drop dogs and puppies off for breeders hey um especially since the airlines stopped shipping dogs unless it was strictly with a flight nanny if it wasn't for the ground shippers, we wouldn't be able to send our dogs out unless you came and picked up the dog in person. And to be honest, man, um, $500 for me to run a dog to a whole different state of 12 hours, 14 hours, one way, 16 hours plus, I wouldn't do it, man. And that's just me being honest. Now, that's not saying if something comes about... <laughs> Here, get that wood chip off. Never mind. Um, that That's not saying if something comes about, me and my partner are not going to jump in the car and deliver these dogs if something comes up. But that's not the case. And that's, that's not what I'm saying. Scenario. That's worst case scenario. 100%. <laughs> um, especially with, you know, like I said, the airlines stopped shipping these dogs. Not just the American Bullies, the Pit Bulls, the Staffordshire, the Rottweiler, the Doberman, the German Shepherd. They stopped shipping all them dogs. Um, trust me, back in the day when they'd ship them, man, I, I was using that to my advantage. Now it's stopped. So the ground shipper is the only other way we have to go about it as of right now. If something changes in the future with the airlines again, which I'm hoping one day it will, you will get your puppy within that same day that it turns eight weeks of age, if not the next day, and you'll have it within a couple hours. Um, man, just I'm just asking you guys to be patient with us, not only with us, but be patient with the ground shipper. You are going to receive your dog. You're going to get it delivered straight to your doorstep. Um, again, if it wasn't for the ground shippers, we we wouldn't be selling dogs out of state. More than likely, I mean, it just that's what it is. We wouldn't be selling puppies out of state. Um. <coughs> So I figured I'll go ahead and touch on that right, and everything and go ahead and bring it over here. And like I said, everything, we have everything. Papers in hand. Um, the shots that they've had, the dewormings they have, the health checks that they had, everything is ready to go. We have everything. Mm -hmm. All we're doing is waiting on John. And after I talked to his wife last night and everything and finding out that he was by himself... Um, man, I thought that was crazy because normally they're two to a vehicle as of right now They're they're not man. It's John by himself and his son-in-law is leaving out today for a whole different run um Traveling the whole other side of the world for dogs and puppies and breeders man So, you know and for them doing this that that's a blessing. I mean yeah. In all honesty, there it's like truly fees, fees a blessing. Be like yeah. Flight nanny. Yeah. I mean, a flight nanny. I mean, you guys are more than welcome to look up a flight nanny. 
Um, and as of right now, I couldn't tell you the prices. I don't know what states are allowing. I don't know what they're doing. And, you know, that's another thing that we've been keeping in contact with. We're watching the news, and I hate the news. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm watching the news now to make sure certain states and certain lines are not shut down and not blocked and not stopping people from coming in or going out. Um, and, you know, me and Rhonda are keeping in touch hey. back and forth. Hey, that's enough. Take it easy, bro. Me and Rhonda are keep, uh, keeping in touch yeah. back and forth as well. She's trying to keep in touch with John. I mean, he's driving as much as he possibly can during the day and stopping with all these dogs and letting them all out to the bathroom and walking them and feeding them and water them as well as you, he's got to worry about himself <laughs> so with that being said man just i just ask you guys to be a patient and this is not just to these customers now i'm waiting to confirm a letter with two-face and Gotti. so trust me um you know i'm gonna be in the same boat here if she takes shortly so this is you know this is just what it is right now this is this, we, did, we didn't think this was going to happen. We nope. didn't see this happening. We didn't see this coming. Um, Nobody planned for Corona. I mean, it's just, it is what it is in the state of our country now. This is where we're at. But as long as the puppies are here, the puppies will be taken care of as they should be. Everybody is still being taken care of as if they're our own dogs. Kitty litter in a oh, there you go. Again, back to the kitty litter. This is why we do this. Um, as far as the people contacting me after they seen the video of the kennels, um, the kennel setup I do for the houses and the boxes, man, I do appreciate you guys, you know, contacting me and letting me know, hey, man, that's an idea that you guys are going to use and do, and man, that's great. That's wonderful. Um, as far you know, it's with the kitty litter as well. I see you know, like I said, people are contacting me like, hey man, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna try that out, and that's great, and that's wonderful as well. Everybody is doing great. All the puppies are healthy. All the puppies are enjoying it. I mean, it's just everybody's doing great, and everybody's just fine. Um, you know, the next video that we do will be the shipper picking the puppies up and showing you know the video of that i was gonna wait but i figured you know let me go ahead and touch on this right now because i want to reassure people not just the customers that bought a puppy now but future customers and future clients and everything man trust me i've been doing this a very long time and when i say you're gonna get something you're gonna get it that's just yeah, that's just how it's gonna go um and that's how i've always been as you can see, the big boy in the back that was sold to Rodney Cannon. Oh, okay. You want to be on the camera. I see you. I see you. I see you. Mike Harris, brother. I know. I know you're ready for your boy. Elena Rocha, your female here. Juicy Lucy. And now Loki, the white boy with the champagne ears. He's got a name, so you can uh, go ahead and consider him Stan. <laughs> his name's Loki, man. I told y'all, if you guys slept on him and uh, didn't grab him, he would stay. We're not against keeping our productions. That is the reason we do this. We're trying to give people the opportunity to come up on productions that nobody else has in the world. How do I know that nobody else has them in the world? Because nobody else has hooch blood. Nobody does the breedings that we've done. Nobody has the dogs that we have. So I know for a fact, nobody has the same dogs as us. Now, yes, we have did a uh, Dax outcross, which a lot of people have done. Again, nobody's done that hooch blood to that Dax blood like we have. So that's how I know we're different. And that's what sets us apart from the rest. And that's what hey. makes us us. Period. So we have Juicy Lucy staying and we have Loki staying now. And I couldn't be happier. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, I was kind of kind of rooting for it. Just to be real, man, I mean, I kept saying it from the jump. Man, we, we, we need to keep more than one. And uh, 
I'm saying we need to keep them all. Well, I said we need to keep them all, man, which I still, I, I, I still feel that way. But it is what it is, you know. The ones that sold, sold. And, you know, congratulations to the owners that bought them. But I am glad to see this boy staying. I'm glad to see the female staying. And I'm glad to see the customers that bought their puppies. You know, um, I think you guys will be happy, more than happy with your picks and your choices. And this is the reason that we do the videos. I want you guys to be able to see your puppy that you are interested in. Moving, playing, interacting with the other dogs. This is why I don't do pictures. I don't send pictures and I won't send pictures to nobody. Um, that's the whole point of the YouTube video and the YouTube channel. There's that boy, Mike. Loki, hey! <laughs> Want to give a huge shout out to all the subscribers, new and old, <laughs> all the likes, shares, comments, followers, all the love and support that we get and we continue to get, all the positive feedback that we get from everybody. Hennessy, hey, Hennessy, quick, quick, quick. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 815-632-9073.